Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India We are looking at uh, flow through ducts and uh, various uh, different uh, drivers which affect the compressible flow through ducts. One uh, change that was uh, we started with was the variation of area which is variable area ducts. Uh, then we looked at uh, friction, effect of friction separately constant area duct with friction which was fano flow and now we come to. Uh, the case where we are taking a constant area duct and there is a heat transfer across the duct. So, the duct is no longer adiabatic in the previous cases there was no heat transfer. Now, we take pure heat transfer which is uh, this kind of flow is known as uh, rally flow. Uh, we are taking them separately so that we can understand in essence what happens when the dominant uh, effect is due to either one of them. And uh, then later on uh, towards the end of this uh, section, I uh, will give a quick introduction to how uh, one can look at combinations of uh, parameters in what is known as a generalized uh, quasi 1D uh, analytical procedure or uh, equations, mm, but uh, that would be just an introduction. Uh, when we are considering these flows they are taken separately and uh, the essence of these or the understanding obtained from these flows are very important and they do not change uh, by a great deal when we are looking at uh, more uh, complex flows. So, uh, what are we looking at in this case? This is the uh, rally flow and in uh, rally flow uh, we are looking at a heat transfer or heat addition to the flow as the flow occurs in a constant area duct. Now, the heat addition uh, or it can be even heat removal, it is a non adiabatic uh, process. So, th that means, uh, heat can be transferred uh, that can happen uh, both heat addition or heat removal can happen. Uh, it can be due to heat transfer or heat addition can also take place due to heat released from uh, chemical reactions such as uh, combustion. This can also be modeled in terms of a rally flow and uh, let us take Q as the amount of uh, heat supplied per um, unit mass. Uh, so, the flow is not uh, adiabatic. So, this is wrong the flow is diabatic that is it allows uh, heat transfer to happen. So, the uh, governing equations um, they are mm, uh, the mass flow rate through the system remains constant. So, rho 1 v 1 is equal to rho 2 v 2 uh, area is same. Then p 1 plus rho 1 v 1 square is equal to p 2 plus rho 2 v 2 square. Uh, here we are considering frictionless flow. So, the frictional factors are not coming in picture that means, momentum is conserved. Okay. What about um, the total enthalpy h 1 plus v 1 square by 2 plus there is a heat added term. So, there is addition of heat q, q is actually uh, q dot uh, which is total heat added divided by m dot. So, uh, per unit mass. So, q is equal to h 2 plus v 2 square by 2. Okay. So, there is a heat added term. Okay. In calorically perfect gas uh, h is C p multiplied by T okay C p T. Hmm. Okay. So, q is essentially q is uh, h naught 2 minus h naught 1 which is C p T naught 2 minus T naught 1. Okay. So, this one should understand. So, if there is heat addition then uh, heat added uh, that is q is greater than 0 that is your stagnation temperature 
will rise T naught 2 is greater than T naught 1. If heat is removed from the system then Q is less than 0 that is uh, stagnation temperatures will uh, drop. So, um, this is in essence what we are looking at uh, and similar to uh, the fan ohm flow uh, we will st first start by looking at uh, the thermodynamics of the process we will put some charts very easy to understand them with uh, charts and uh, that way we will understand um, uh, almost everything about uh, the flow with heat addition. So, here also rho v is constant. So, that is rho v is g uh, again this parameter g comes here momentum equation uh, p plus rho v square is equal to constant that is p plus g v is constant uh, ok. So, uh, that is p 2 minus p 1 is equal to g multiplied by v 2 minus v 1, but what about v? v is uh, v is actually g by rho ok. So, if you can use g by rho which is g multiplied by specific volume ok. So, the uh, momentum equation can also be written in terms of g and specific volume p 1 plus g square uh, v 1 is equal to p 2 plus g square v 2 ok. Now, uh, you can do p 2 minus p 1 is g square into v 1 minus v 2 which is negative of v 2 minus v 1 or p 2 minus p 1 by v 2 minus v 1 is equal to minus g square. Now, this is the equation of a straight line ok. So, the Rayleigh lines or Rayleigh curves if written or if drawn on P V diagrams P and specific volume V is uh, they are actually uh, straight lines ok. And from here you can understand uh, this term P 2 minus P 1 by V 2 minus V 1 is equal to minus G square. Uh, g square has to be a term which is positive uh, that means p 2 minus p 1 by v 2 minus v 1 has negative slope. So, that is very important. So, they have always have a negative slope ok. Then you can relate g with the slope of uh, the p v um, uh, rally line in the p v diagram if tan alpha represents uh, the um, slope of the uh, p v diagram. Uh, then g is uh, nothing but uh, negative square root of negative tan alpha ok. So, we then uh, the velocity can also be represented uh, now uh, along the line uh, as uh, the specific volume multiplied by um, g uh, which here is minus tan alpha. So, it is uh, very nice uh, way to represent this particular line is known as the uh, uh, Rayleigh line ok. So, uh, in uh, the Rayleigh line is described by looking at uh, the continuity equation and the momentum equation ok and in P V uh, diagram they are uh, straight lines ok. And you can draw isotherms and isoisentropes uh, the, the, the curves of uh, constant entropy and curves of constant uh, temperature uh, along these uh, same P V plane and that will tell us about how temperature changes and um, pressure changes uh, in these uh, curves ok. So, now they can also be plotted in H s uh, diagram or T s diagram similar to uh, fan of curves uh, these curves also have uh, two branches there is an upper branch and there is a lower branch the way the curves look as uh, of this kind. Uh, it is uh, different from a fan o curve of course, uh, but you can notice some important differences one is that if you look at the upper branch uh, which corresponds to the subsonic flow Mach number is um, less than 1 ok. So, if you take this upper branch and you see how temperature uh, varies in this branch. Uh, first the temperature increases up till a maximum of temperature 
see temperature ma maximum is achieved at this point and then temperature decreases okay, until another point is reached. This point corresponds to maximum entropy okay, S max maximum entropy S max. Okay. So, uh, if you look at uh, this curve the upper branch which is a subsonic branch initially there is an increase in temperature uh, after reaching a point where T is equal to T max maximum temperature uh, then its uh, temperature uh, decreases until it reaches S max where uh, maximum entropy is achieved. Now, if you look at lower branch which is here. Um, here uh, the temperature continuously increases. Okay. So, very important uh, point in uh, Rayleigh curves uh, is there are two critical points one is maximum temperature the other one is uh, maximum uh, entropy. Now, in order to understand this uh, clearly you should also look at uh, uh, the stagnation temperature lines uh, because it is or stagnation enthalpy lines. Uh, the stagnation enthalpy line will now have two branches similar to the stagnation or rather uh, similar to the Rayleigh curve. Mm, it will not be H naught is not constant uh, like that like it was for uh, the case of uh, Fano flow. Uh, so, here uh, if you add heat always uh, the stagnation enthalpy increases or T naught increases. So, going from 1 to 2 increasing uh, in this direction there is an addition of heat. So, T naught increases. So, the lower branch of this curve corresponds to subsonic flow uh, because this uh, height here this difference should correspond to V square by 2 right by the equation. So, uh, this height should correspond to uh, V square by 2 right. So, um, uh, the lower one corresponds to Mach number less than 1 while the upper branch corresponds to Mach number greater than 1 and they reach a cusp uh, rather they reach a point at which maximum heat can be added and that particular cusp corresponds to the point where um, uh, entropy is maximum S is equal to S max. Okay. Then Q is equal to Q max maximum heat that can be added. So, this point uh, should be uh, is very important and also notice that uh, here you have a line if you draw an isentropic line for a point 1 you have T naught corresponding to that and T star uh, corresponding to the point where um, it can be isentropically brought to Mach number equal to 1. Even this T star is varying because now heat is getting added into the flow. So, T star and T naught are not constants. So, do not confuse between isentropic flow, fan of flow and Rayleigh flow. Rayleigh flow is not an adiabatic flow. Uh, so, um, uh, therefore, T star and T naught star or T naught uh, they are not uh, constants. Now, we know how pressures uh, are depicted along uh, the HS diagram. So, if you look at the curve itself you can make uh, uh, an understanding or you can get an understanding of what happens. For uh, subsonic flow when heat is added you see that this uh, height increases that means uh, velocity increases Mach number increases uh, pressure decreases um, temperature increases until a particular point maximum uh, the maximum enthalpy point and that particular point can be shown uh, to be equal to 1 by square root of gamma. After this point uh, the uh, temperature uh, decreases. Uh, why this is happening? Uh, why should temperature increase at a point and then decrease? Um, this is uh, because uh, actually what you see uh, is that uh, addition of heat affects total enthalpy which is T naught or H naught. H naught is a combination of H plus V square by 2. Uh, this is static enthalpy um, enthalpy and 
uh, v square by 2 is kinetic energy. Okay. So, uh, for the initial uh, region uh, of this subsonic branch until the point of maximum enthalpy, mm, they increase uh, the addition of heat uh, goes largely to increase uh, static enthalpy and uh, less to increase in uh, kinetic energy. Uh, of course, V is increasing, but it is uh, to do with the relative increase of the two. Uh, initially, the relative increase is more towards increase of static enthalpy, but once you reach maximum enthalpy point, further addition of heat actually increases kinetic energy enormously and some amount of it actually can also be taken from the um, static enthalpy. So, total enthalpy which is a combination h plus v square by 2 that continues to increase, but uh, static enthalpy uh, reduces because now more amount of uh, energy is uh, taken by the kinetic energy. So, uh, that is why this happens. So, you have to view this as a combination uh, your h naught is increasing all the time when you add heat. Uh, but they are a combination of uh, static enthalpy and kinetic energy. Okay. Uh, T naught or stagnation enthalpy uh, increases, uh, P naught actually decreases, okay. P naught decreases because you find here that even here uh, not only just that uh, entropy changes, so you have to work out the equations here, so uh, that needs to be done. Okay. In case of uh, supersonic flow, uh, when you add heat, okay, the addition of heat causes uh, Mach number decreases, so uh, velocity actually decreases, uh, pressure increases, temperature increases, mm, uh, T naught of course definitely increases, T naught also decreases. Okay. So, this is evident from this uh, uh, rally curves. Uh, now, how do we get to these uh, limiting points? So, this is what uh, was meant. So, if you look at the P V diagram, uh, the uh, these uh, straight lines, the, this particular straight line is the rally line. Okay. Now, if you look at uh, uh, the curves at which h is equal to constant, okay, this is static uh, uh, points of uh, um, sort of constant uh, entropy s is equal to constant okay and uh, points at which temperature is constant that is enthalpy is constant okay they are two different curves and we know they are related to each other so uh, the entropy curve has a higher slope than the enthalpy curve so this is t equal to constant and this is um, s equal to constant this difference is there as a consequence. So, where is this point of maximum uh, temperature? It is a particular point where this Rayleigh line becomes uh, tangent to uh, uh, the uh, temperature equal to constant curve. Um, then whenever it becomes tangent to uh, the entropy equal to constant curve s equal to constant then that corresponds to maximum entropy further beyond that you do not have any solution. Okay. So, uh, you can see that uh, these are two different points here. So, how do we get that uh, the slope? So, because we look at the tangency condition tan alpha that is the slope of the rally line um, is g minus g square that is we have established that is minus v square by uh, new uh, I mean v square that is uh, specific volume square. This can be expressed in terms of uh, Mach number uh, if you do uh, multiply and divide by gamma p then this is uh, a square. So, you get man minus gamma p by uh, v uh, minus gamma p by v m square. Okay. Now, what about the slope of isotherms that is taken as tan delta which is dou p by dou v at constant temperature and uh, we know the ideal gas equation of state and from there we can find out when temperature is constant what is the slope of the 
isotherms or iso yeah isotherms R T by V square uh, then R T by V is minus P by V. So, now you can uh, uh, at the uh, point of maximum enthalpy that is a tangency condition between maximum or temperature constant curves and the Rayleigh line. So, gamma P by V m square is equal to P by V. Uh, so, from here you get m square is equal to 1 by gamma or m is equal to 1 by root gamma. So, this establishes the uh, relation um, for the point of maximum uh, temperature. Now, what about uh, the limiting point of maximum entropy? We should look at the uh, tangency condition for uh, the Rayleigh line uh, tan alpha with uh, the um, entropy line isentropes ok. So, s equal to uh, constant lines. So, if you look at that you take tan phi is dou p by dou v at constant entropy this is minus v square dou p by dou rho at constant entropy dou p by dou rho at constant entropy is uh, speed of sound a square uh, by v square. So, tan alpha equal to tan uh, phi. So, v square by in v square that is specific volume square is equal to a square by v square or v square equal to a square or Mach number equal to 1. Again we find that at the point of maximum entropy Mach number equal to 1. So, uh, and that also represents a uh, switch over point you know, between subsonic flow and the supersonic flow. So, in all the different cases uh, variable area ducts or fan of flow or rally flow Mach number equal to 1 was a critical point in all these cases it is a critical point, um, but they are different descriptions. So, they are not the same point. Um, uh, so, uh, in a fan of curve it has to follow a fan of uh, curve to get to point Mach number equal to 1 and then it is a critical point in the fano curve. In a rally curve it has to follow a rally curve or a rally line and it has to reach Mach number equal to 1 which is a critical point. This point also corresponds to the maximum Q max Q max that is maximum heat added um, kind of uh, situation here ok. So, if you add heat uh, in a subsonic flow it drives the flow towards Mach number equal to 1. Similarly, if you add heat to a supersonic flow it also drives the flow towards Mach number equal to 1 and the maximum heat that can be added corresponds to the point where uh, maximum entropy line lies and that also is equal to 1. So, uh, the point why you get Mach number equal to 1 Q max is also on the same line is slightly different from the uh, point where uh, you if you consider an adiabatic flow like the frictional flow fan of flow with friction you cannot have uh, the flow going smoothly from uh, a subsonic flow to supersonic flow in case of a fan of flow uh, it will this is a fan of flow and you have S max and Mach number equal to 1 subsonic branch this is supersonic branch and uh, one cannot go from one branch to the other branch uh, because this is an adiabatic flow and here entropy uh, has to be always delta s has, has to be always uh, greater than 0. So, this is the condition here, but this is not an adiabatic flow, but here only by means of heat addition one cannot go beyond Mach number equal to 1 because if you look at the stagnation curve that corresponds to maximum heat added ok. So, you cannot add heat beyond Q max maximum heat there are no solutions beyond that. Uh, so, you cannot move beyond uh, subsonic to supersonic just by means of heat addition. Uh, uh, or supersonic to subsonic just by means of heat addition. Uh, the reason is somewhat uh, it is a fine point it is somewhat different from uh, the point why it is the same for the fan of flow. 
Okay. So, now when we look at uh, uh, Rayleigh flows similar to Fano flow, now this has been a uh, qualitative understanding, but uh, more or less all the uh, different uh, conditions of, Fano, uh, of Rayleigh flow uh, can be understood by means of a uh, Rayleigh curve similar to Fano curve. If you understand this curve thoroughly, then uh, you understand almost all aspects of uh, Rayleigh flow. So, uh, please learn to draw these curves qualitatively and distinguish the various points. Okay. So, now we, we what we want to do is uh, solve uh, uh, situations where we come across Rayleigh flow. There, uh, the, the points would be that you would know how much amount of heat is added and you know points in region 1, you would know, want to know what happens to region 2. Okay, so, this is a typical problem. Uh, then, how would we go about this uh, particular problem? So, the guiding uh, principle here is that uh, Cp uh, T02 minus T01 is equal to q. So, this is the um, guiding principle. Then we seek all similar to the other cases, we seek the ratios p2 by p1, t2 by t1, uh, rho 2 by rho 1. They should be expressed solely as functions of m1, m2 and gamma. For a calorically perfect gas, gamma is a constant, okay. uh, so t02 by t01. So, that is what we uh, wish to do and uh, T02 can be determined by using this particular equation. So, once you know T02, T02 by T01 can be determined. If M1 is known, M2 can be known and this can be uh, done. Uh, but uh, we would look at the equation soon. We will find that uh, again solving them is quite uh, tedious task. So, uh, we always use a reference point for uh, mm, the Rayleigh curve. The reference point is going to be the maximum entropy point where Mach number will also become equal to 1. So, for a given Rayleigh curve, uh, this uh, point is fixed. It is a fixed point for that particular Rayleigh curve. Okay. So, that is a reference point. You have it in terms of star values. So, P by P star, T by T star and rho by rho star. So, now again clearly distinguish between all the different processes. Uh, the star value that you got in a variable area duct is due to an isentropic process. Uh, it is different from the star value you get when Mach number 1 is achieved in a Fano flow. It is due to uh, a process of having friction in a constant area duct. Similarly, you can drive the flow to Mach number equal to 1 in the case when there is heat being added to the flow and in that case you get the Rayleigh flow and uh, you get a Mach number equal to 1 in the case of Rayleigh flow also. These three conditions are not the same, so do not uh, ever take them to be the same. When you are considering Rayleigh flow and Rayleigh curve, the star condition is corresponding to Rayleigh curve when you are considering Fano flow, it is corresponding to uh, Fano flow. So, uh, this part uh, you have to uh, take care. So, the equations how to solve them uh, we will discuss in the uh, next class uh, and uh, thank you.